Greetings, I am Yulia Navalnaya, and you all are truly the best, the bravest, and the most honest individuals in our beloved country. Individuals who provide me with hope. On Friday, March 1st, you patiently waited in a lengthy queue to bid farewell to Alexei. But the next day, there are even more of you. Here is the third day Sunday, a kilometer long queue and a mountain of flowers behind which you can't even see the cross anymore. So, on a daily basis, I am unable to articulate in words the tremendous amount of meaning it holds for me. Looking at you, I am convinced that everything is not in vain, and this thought gives me strength. And I am certain that I am not the sole individual. These frames are not solely filled with sorrow and grief, but they also contain hope. Alexei had a dream of a beautiful Russia in the future, and you are the embodiment of this Russia. During these days, I witnessed an abundance of warmth, kindness, and unity. And that is precisely what distinguishes us from the individuals seated in the Kremlin. They have a cult of the past, war, rockets, and vile murders. And we have love, support, and faith in the future. Now you all know that there are actually a multitude of us, all individuals who have a deep love and unwavering support for Alexei, and who wholeheartedly share his brilliant ideas. And as long as we have each other, nothing is finished. The most effective approach to avoid losing this feeling of togetherness is to spend more time together. Ahead is the voting in the presidential elections. Yes, they are complete fiction and fake. Putin will interpret any outcome that he prefers, whether it is 80% or 180%. However, we can still utilize these purported elections to our advantage, employing them as a means to accomplish our objectives in collaboration with you. How exactly to do this, Alexei himself managed to tell us. We need to use election day to show that we exist and there are many of us. We are real, alive, real people. And we are against Putin. You need to come to the site on the same day and at the same time on March 17th at noon. What to do next? It's up to you. You can vote for any candidate except Putin. You have the option to spoil the ballot by writing Navalny on it using large letters. And even if you do not see any point in voting, you can simply come and stand at the polling station and then turn around and go home. Even if you were compelled to vote earlier, nothing will prevent you from going to the polling station on March 17th at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. The most important thing is to arrive. This is an extremely straightforward and secure action. It can't be prohibited, and it will assist millions of individuals to see like-minded individuals and realize we are not alone. We are surrounded by people who are also against war, against corruption, and against lawlessness. Most likely the Kremlin will start scaring everyone here, but what can they do? Close the sections for an hour, not allow your entry. You possess the complete entitlement to arrive and cast your vote at any given time. And midday on March 17th is not more perilous than any other day. And the greater their attempts to frighten us, the more resilient we must remain. If they do not want it that much, then it is a problem for them. And if it is a problem for them, then we must act in precisely the same manner. In this noon against Putin action, Alexei made a call to participate, which is why it holds such personal importance for me. I desire to accomplish what he regarded as correct. I strongly encourage all individuals to keep him in mind. Alexei wrote that in such a nationwide protest action, which will take place not just in every city, but in every district of every city, millions of Russians can take part and millions more people will see it. And in order for there to be a large number of us for real, we must utilize the remaining time for agitation. All should know about this promo, so I'm addressing everyone who's watching this video directly to ensure awareness. Persuade another individual to accompany you. This will serve as your own contribution to the shared objective. There are probably numerous individuals near you who are opposed to Putin and the ongoing war. And in the event that we come together, our voice opposing Putin will be amplified to a much greater extent. Alexei had an amazing superpower. He was able to unite people of different backgrounds. Moscow residents of all ages voted for him in the Moscow mayoral elections. 
People from all over the country came to meet him when he challenged Putin in the presidential elections. At this moment, a completely different group of people came to say their goodbyes to him. He expressed his support for Noon against Putin for the same reason. This action brings all individuals together. Those who take part in it do not require to debate about the correct or incorrect manner to act on the 17th of March. These are not elections in any case. Putin will not be present in any case. The legitimate president is not for us, not for the whole world, but for a select few. But at midday, on March 17th, we can come and see each other, observe that there are numerous individuals like us, and we possess great strength.